One memorable part of my childhood was playing Streets of Rage back on Sega Genesis. This is one of those pretty dope arcade beat 'em up games where you can go through with a second player and play co op. <coughs> oh, excuse me, guys. You know, and I grew up. I grew up on this. My older brothers had the game, and you know, I was a little lad. And but when I got to the point of being able to actually hold the joystick and the controller myself. I really enjoyed playing this game. The Streets of Rage series was pretty dope, to say the least. You know, it seems like so simple. You think back, wow, the graphics of this game are terrible. But my favorite all-time game was Streets of Rage 2. They had everything you could want. And when I say everything, they had everything. They had ninjas you could fight randomly. They had Wolverine who would just randomly come out of the smoke in a misty swamp area. They had a wrestler that was like a tank who could take anything, any hit. Clearly on steroids. You had a jacked boxer that wore overalls and boxing gloves. Sw swagging out. That hit hard. Kickboxers training on a beach. Prostitutes that could fly jetpacks. <laughs> One-eyed transformers. Like, who thinks of these combos? Like, what other company that you know has put all these together in one game? Like, come on. It even had elevator fights with, you know, just every single other boss that you fought from the beginning of the game at the end. You know, no big deal, right? Not a big deal. Pretty dope, though. You get to see a fight on the elevator. And then as the final boss, you had two of the realest nigs in the game. Like, look at these two. Chillin', B. They're like, what are you going to do to us? They looking too real right now. Too saucy right now, bro. Like, what you about to do to them, bro? Even man's entrance to the battlefield was saucy. Like, you had... This is one of the best... Streets of Rage games are one of the best beat em ups that I've ever played in my entire life. And so, with that being said, it's been a few years now since they even made a Streets of Rage, but in 2020, they came out with Streets of Rage 4. Man, this brings back memories. Ah, the nostalgia. It's, it's, cr it's crazy. It's so mind boggling that it's been so long since they've made a Streets of Rage. Streets of Rage game, man. Holy smoke. I am so hyped for this game. Oh, man. So, I'm playing right now with B Savvy. We're doing a share play. I really wanted to uh, have somebody, a partner to play with with this game because you guys already know I'm probably going to go back and, you know, be a trophy hunter, be an achievement collector, and go and get this platinum for this game. So, figured first playthrough, have somebody tag along because why not? better to play a game with somebody than by yourself all the time. I mean, it's not bad if you do, but I'm just saying something like this, like a beat em up, it's always fun to have a partner with you. But without further ado, guys, I'm gonna just shut up, sit back, and let you guys enjoy the gameplay. Yo, they even made the names the same of each one. Oh my gosh. Bruh. And they got, so far it seems like most of the, car the enemies are from Streets of Rage 2. You know, they probably knew that that was the best one that they made.
Yo, the nostalgia is so real! Oh, oh you would die. But this is definitely this is a different boss. So they, they, it's not like a completely, it's a new game, but it's not like 100% completely new. They added uh, some new people, it seems like, but then also what I noticed is that some of the uh, bosses at the end stages are a little different. Oh, they still got the fat dude with the fire! Oh! <laughs> They even gave. They even gave Shiva the sauce. Like, look at his swag. Look at his swag, bro. If you're a fan of the series, you're going to love this game. and like for more videos.